So um, we're going to talk about caviar and roe and all its forms today, and then we'll get to make some salmon roe. There's a lot to unpack here, so I'm going to try to move really quickly. Not all fish eggs are caviar. For example, salmon roe, not caviar. We say that really flippantly sometimes, but it's important to distinguish just the way you would want to distinguish um, champagne from sparkling wine, right? So there's like a little bit of different ways people talk about it. There are a specific family of sturgeon that are what you're talking about when you're talking about caviar. If it's black, it doesn't mean it's caviar. At Trader Joe's, you can get something called caviar that's actually not even fish. So this is essentially the same as the way it looks inside the sturgeon. There's two of them together, except this is from salmon in the Northwest. And so the eggs are perfect. You can tell because the membrane which is on the outside here, is opening up and it wants, it wants to go. And so I'm gonna kind of like help that along here. Once you get it open, you want water that's as hot as you could like get out of the tap and it'll freak you out. You think you're cooking the eggs, but as long as you don't get like above 150 or so, it's fine. Put it in the water. You just let it sit in there to get it warm. It like the, the membranes will tighten from that process and contract, uh, kind of releasing the eggs a little bit more. You can go directly onto here. So you wanna go membrane side up. So the eggs are down on the grate and you're just like giving it a really great massage. Just letting the eggs fall. And you can be pretty rough with it. dump your eggs into there. We're gonna rinse them a couple of times. You'll notice when you put it in, there's a lot of stuff, like the water gets really hazy. I was gonna have everything measured out, but I thought instead, if you wanted to, you could sort of salt it to taste, season it as you think you might need to and then sort of just gently mix it. So we'll put them aside while we taste some Sturia caviar in the sort of soft spot between your thumb and pointer finger. 